my design. So let's say I have came to my home page, I have clicked my start here button, and then the next thing I've watched my videos, that's great, and now I have to go to the goal setting page. So I'm going to click on the goal setting page and this is very, very similar to what you'll see throughout your lessons is that you'll have these tasks, whether it's to read part of the chapter, whether it's to watch a video, please follow these in order because it's very important for the homework that you complete all of the steps. So this says watch the following video about setting goals and then it says think about three goals you have, one educational, and then it says to write them down, do not skip this step. So if I scroll down, it says to watch another video, and then it says complete the goal setting assignment. So if I click on the goal setting assignment tab, this takes me to the actual assignments, and you can see that it's highlighted in blue on your left. So these tabs, depending on where you're at, will be highlighted. It tells you there's no due date, it tells you it's worth 100 points, and submitting is a file upload. The best thing to use is Microsoft Word, but some of us don't have Microsoft Word, so Google Docs works just as well. You can make a free Gmail account and you have access to saving, storing all of your files right on a Google document. You can upload that document. You can also do presentations from Google Docs if you don't have PowerPoint. So this says to do a file upload, so it means you would open up a Microsoft Word document and you would answer these four questions. In every assignment page, I'm hoping that there is a rubric set out for you and this rubric tells you what you're getting graded on. So notice it's very clear that you had three original goals indicated worth 25 points and then it talks about how you change them to meet the SMART requirements. So this is your grading thing. It's very good to look at to give yourself an idea of what the assignment is. So once you've completed your assignment, you will see a Submit Assignment Here button. If you do not see an Assignment Here button, please email your instructor because that way we can set that up for you. But everyone should have one. Once you click on the Submit Assignment button, you would choose a file and you'd do that from your computer and it might be in downloads or it might be in documents. Usually it's in documents for me. Um, I'm just going to submit to show you what it looks like. So there's my document. I'm going to open it and then I am going to submit assignment. So once I submit an assignment, it'll give me an indication of it's been turned in and there are the submission details. So that's an idea of how you do it. You can also resubmit an assignment if you want to correct it and make a, a better grade. So that is turning in assignments.